For this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the magnitude and direction of a vector. So for any vector u with endpoints at a comma b, the magnitude can be found by, and the magnitude is basically the length of the vector, it's how long it is, is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared. And where this really came from is just the Pythagorean theorem where we solve for the hypotenuse. And the direction angle theta can be found by using the relationship of tangent theta is equal to b divided by a, where a cannot equal zero. So basically theta is talking about the angle of rotation in the coordinate plane. All right, so let's do an example to find the magnitude and the direction. Sometimes it does help us to kind of have a picture so that we know which quadrant we want our answer to be in. And for these, I am going to find the angle in degrees rather than radians. All right, so negative 2, 4, that means that I would go left 2 and up 4. And so essentially, when you are given a vector, this part right here just tells you where the vector ends. It's the terminal point of your vector, which is kind of like a ray because it's in a certain direction. All right, so this is vector u, where this side is negative 2 and this side is 4. So you can see that we have our right triangle here, and we can find our reference angle here um, to help us find our theta. So our theta is talking about the angle measuring starting from the x-axis until the terminal side. So what we're going to do is just use the formula that we're given where we can find the magnitude. And some texts do put this in double arrows. Some just put it in the absolute value brackets, but it just depends on your text. So make sure that you look at the text that you are using. So the magnitude of u is equal to the square root of a squared, where a is negative 2, plus b squared, and so if I simplify this, this ends, me, this ends up giving me 4 plus 16, which is the square root of 20. So depending upon whether you want an exact solution or an approximate solution, if you want an exact solution, this right here can be simplified because this is 4 times 5, and the square root of 4 is 2, so I can simplify this to the 2 times the square root of 5. So if you want an exact value, this would be your exact value. If you want an approximate value, you would just plug this into your calculator and you end up with 4.47 approximately. So this is the length of the vector or the magnitude. All right, so now let's find the reference angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it up using our relationship. So tangent of theta is going to equal, and remember that we're doing b over a, so we would just put 4 over negative 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this into our calculator. And you have to remember how your calculator is programmed. So when I put this into my calculator, I'm just going to grab a cal calculator. I'm going to do the inverse tangent of 4 divided by negative 2. And notice that it gives me negative 63.43. I forgot to say, make sure that you are in degree mode and not radian mode for this. Okay, so negative 63.43. All right, so this is where you have to remember what your calculator gives you when it finds the inverse of tangent. It's either going to give your answer in quadrant one or quadrant four. So if you recall, this reference angle here is equal to this reference angle here. And I'm just gonna call this theta prime. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to find the angle of opening to get to here. So basically all I have to do since it's in quadrant two is just take 180 degrees and subtract the 63.43 degrees so that we can get theta in quadrant two. Okay, so if I simplify this, this does give me 116.57 degrees, and this would be the angle of opening, because we're always looking at our positive angle measure in the correct quadrant. So remember that quadrant one is zero to 90 degrees, quadrant two is 90 to 180. 
quadrant 3 is 180 to 270, and then quadrant 4 is 270 to 360. So when you're going through this, the magnitude, remember, is just the length of the hypotenuse of the right triangle that's formed with the endpoints at the given values. And then the theta measure is always going to be how far did we rotate, starting typically from the x-axis. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.